Herbal Jonathan Asake, President of Southern Kaduna People's Union, now joins us live. Thank you so much for joining us. The military has decided to change tactics. Uh, do you see any prospects in this? Well, I don't know the tactics they are changing because each time we hear about the changing of tactics, the killings have not stopped. What is most disturbing is uh, that our communities continue to suffer heavy attacks by these militia. And uh, each time the militia strike, we hear different narratives. Either bandits have been neutralized. We're not talking about bandits in our place. In Southern Kaduna, it is a militia, Fulani militia attacks on communities. And they have left serious humanitarian crisis in our communities, where people have been displaced. And uh, the, the, the displacement without, they are not attended to them. And it is raining now. So, so many, I just went to the IDP camps. Um, most of the places, it's not even a camp. It's where people just decide to stay. And uh, Nobody is taking care of them. So that is the problem we have. So it's a different thing he's talking about. It's not addressing the situation that we, are, we have at hand. Uh, there's also been a war of words between the government of Kaduna and many social commentators over the alleged ethnic cleansing. Uh, what would you say is the way out from this age-long crisis? Because it doesn't seem to be ended. Not an age-long crisis. Many of these commentators are confusing what we used to have that many states have gone through, either communal crisis or ethnic crisis or religious crisis or any crisis of that matter. But what we have been experiencing lately in Southern Kaduna, and I keep saying this, is unprovoked attacks, invasions of communities that Fulani militia continue to wage against vulnerable communities, farming communities. Most of these communities don't know what is going on. And so they, they, they wage attacks on them by night and massacre as many as they can. And those that are displaced into nearby communities. And they can only stay there for those communities to be further attacked and displaced. And the survivors will go into other communities or go into completed buildings without mattresses without medication. Most of the children in most communities have been staying out of school. In fact, some as long as one year now, they have not gone to school. So what we're talking about is different. It's not an age-long something. We're experiencing invasions of our communities, massacre, destruction, where most of the casualty are women and children. So when we hear this narrative that they are confusing the narrative, by bringing in bandits. It's and different. As, it's not bandits. Help me, help me to, you know, for as long as this has been happening, there's, there's not been any actual reason behind these killings? We can only make our own deductions because since the attackers attack these communities and displace them, and then in most instances they take over the communities, and the authorities will not go after them. None of them has been apprehended. None of them has been prosecuted. Even if they are apprehended, they are only paraded. And news is made that, oh, they have apprehended some that participated in a particular massacre. And after that, this you will never hear when they have been prosecuted. And, and that is the truth. We have over 50,000 people that have been displaced. And they cannot go back to their communities. Many have attempted to go back to see their homes, and they have been killed in that same manner. So that is what we're talking about. So let's not confuse this thing with either the banditry taking place in Sokoto or other places, or either the uh, what they call for hadas, uh, hadas and uh, farmers clash. It is not. It is unprovoked attacks, massacre, across our community, in all our local governments, with huge humanitarian crisis. Honorable Jonathan Nasake, thank you so much for sharing with us. Um, looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much. The Vice Chancellor of University.